In this video, we'll talk about the C-reactive protein test or CRP test. This is kind of a blood test. But what is it used for? The CRP may be used for to monitor the inflammatory status inside your body. But why the inflammation is caused in the body? It might be due to a bacterial infection, might be due to a fungal infection, or might be due to an autoimmune disorder such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. So let's look at the C-reactive protein in a bit more details. It's a ring-shaped pentameric protein found in blood plasma and its circulating concentration rises with inflammation. Generally, liver secretes this particular protein. But how does liver know when to secrete this protein or how does liver know there is an inflammation in the body? And this signal is provided by adipocytes or macrophages, which is one type of immune cell. So these cell types actually secrete chemical molecules which tell the liver about the status of inflammation and as a response liver secretes C-reactive protein. So let's look at the biological function of C-reactive protein. Now this C-reactive protein can actually bind to lysophosphatidylcholine which is otherwise found in dead and decaying cells. And after binding to this particular protein, it can activate complement system, which is one kind of innate immune response. So the C-reactive protein can bind to this specific lysophosphatidylcholine and ultimately it can recruit or interact with a protein called C1Q, which is a complement protein. Ultimately, it leads to the activation of complement casket. From an inflammation point of view or infection point of view, this is really important. For example, there is a bacteria. So obviously, this C-reactive protein can lead to complement fixation of the bacteria and thereby lysis or destruction of this bacteria. It's kind of like a protective mechanism. So other than that, there are several cell types such as neutrophil, macrophages, NK cells and dendritic cell. All of them has anti-complement receptors. So obviously, whenever there is a complement quotation on the bacteria, these cells would engage with the bacteria and engulf them and thereby neutralizing the threat and reducing the uh, infection. Now let's talk about what really happens during a CRP test. It's just a blood test. So a medical operative would take blood from your veins. And this is very simple. You need to know that whether you need to do or you need to prepare somehow before this test and the answer is no you don't really need any other special preparation before this test there is no risk associated with this test so what do you i mean how do you interpret the test results so there is a range which is provided for crp the normal biological range a range higher than that would mean there is some kind of inflammation in your body here we need to understand that a CRP test does not explain the cause or the location of inflammation. It's just a screening test just going to tell us whether there is inflammation or not. Further test along with CRP test is required to uh, decide something conclusive like a complete blood count, like ESR test. All of these tests would give us a holistic picture and CRP is just a screening method, quick screening method. Now let us look at some patient data quickly to understand what does those data mean. Here are data from three patients. Look at the patient one. It has the CRP level 0.96 mg per liter. That means its CRP level is fairly low. In this patient's body, there is no inflammation. Look at patient three. The CRP level is 44.89 mg per liter, which is huge. That means high level of inflammation is going on in the patient three's body. Now that kind of mean many things. First of all, there is an inflammatory response in the patient 3's body. Also, there could be increased chances of cardi uh, cardiac diseases in patient 3. Which one is true? That's why further test is required. So, for example, in this patient 3, if doctor perform a blood test, they found this observation. Look, the neutrophil level has gone up and neutrophil level increase is a characteristic signature of a bacterial infection. That means while the blood test was performing, performed, this patient 3 was actually suffering from some kind of bacterial infection which has caused huge inflammation in his body. And that's the interpretation from this particular result. There could be an alternative interpretation as well. The patient 3 could also suffer from cardiac disease but further tests are required to understand or confirm that idea.
or interpret something like that. Anyway, when you have a CRP level which is beyond the range, you should always consult a doctor and take the advice of a doctor. Anti-inflammatory me medications might help to reduce the inflammation in the body for temporary sources, but the, for permanent solution, you should always take doctor's advice and follow that. By the way, notes and flashcards associated with many videos are shown in the Facebook page. The Facebook page link is provided in the description. Do check it out. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Support my channel on Patreon. And if you are an Indian viewer, you can take my courses in Unacademy, which is India's biggest online learning platform. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. And if you wish to connect with me, all the social media links are provided in the description. See you in the next video.